What's up everyone? My name is Andre and in this video I'll be showing you how you can plot faster, cheaper and more efficient using your RAM and not your SSD. So without further ado, let's go. So on the screen you can see the Prima cache app to the left and Mad Max Plotter script and its documentation to the right. From the documentation it is clear that Mad Max Plotter, instead of plotting just with four threads, can actually utilize all the cores and threads that you can say and put into it. Mad Max Plotter can fit 75% of all the writes into just 110 gigabytes of disk, which is pretty unique and cool, because we can address those reads and writes to be actually written not into the SSD, but in way cheaper and more long-lasting RAM banks. Traditionally, we would need to create a so-called RAM disk from our memory and use it for plotting. But since the minimal requirements is 110 gigabytes, it literally means we would need to have something around 128 gigs of RAM on our PC, which is, to be honest, not uh, the real case for a majority of us. Therefore, uh, we can create so-called cache for our system, which allows our system to decide to write everything that comes to the specific disk into this cache first that will be allocated in our memory and then all the leftovers to the disk itself. That's where we will need to have some support from our good friend Primo Cache software. Now we know everything we need, so let's go and check out the Primo Cache. But before that, please smash that like button and subscribe button for me to keep me up and motivated to publish more videos like that. Thanks, let's go! So what we need to do first is to create so-called cache that will take 75% of all our writes. With trial and error I found the configuration that works for me and saves me as much as 60% of all the writes to SSD with just 64 gigabytes of RAM on board. So go back to Primo Cache. We need to create so-called cache task for the disk that will be handling 75% of all the writes. Then specify the amount of RAM that this disk will have as a dedicated cache. Now let's go to advanced settings and make sure we use this disk only for caching the writes as per that's what we are going to do with this disk. Now we want to have a block size of 512 kilobytes and enable defer write option. This will allow the data first come and be written into the cache and then flash to the disk when time comes. Latency should be set to infinite. And lastly, let's go to the advanced settings of deferred write and check free cache on written, which will empty uh, the RAM in case if the block is written back to the disk. Now we should be good to go. On pressing start, Primo Cache will allocate the memory that we've set into the disk that we uh, selected. And the next time we do any sorts of writes to this disk, the writes will be done first on cache. Of course, not everyone has even 64 gigabytes of RAM. Therefore, I have made some tests for you showing the difference between the RAM amount and the percentage of the writes that will be done the disk versus total. So check it out. And of course, no wonder it's pretty clear that the more RAM you have, the more writes will be done into the cache and fewer to the disks. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Please let me know in the comment section to this video what do you think of this video, how useful was it for you. And now to the fun part, because I'm giving away 100,000 modules to everyone. Only thing you need to do is to open your browser, go to chia-fauset.tk, uh, enter your wallet address and press that claim button. Every 24 hours you can claim your reward totally for free. This is only for you, for my viewers. Thank you for watching this and good night.